What's going on everybody? Non-fungible domains has brought .algo domain names to the Algorand blockchain. Now, non-fungible domains, or NFDs, takes machine-readable addresses and turns it into human-readable ones. That is why you're starting to see a proliferation of .algo addresses on the Algo Explorer as well as on Twitter. So in this video, I want to show you how to mint a non-fungible domain, how to use the marketplace to buy and sell non-fungible domains, how to take place in auctions for premier NF domains, how to create your profile verify your non-fungible domain, and change the metadata within it. So stick around to the end of the video so you can learn how to get your very own .algo domain address, show off your NFT galleries, link this domain to your Twitter and other social media accounts, and so much more. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to start off by heading on over to nf.domains, and there you'll be greeted by this site right here in which you can begin to learn all about NF domains. And NF domains is the algorithm name service and marketplace for non-fungible domains, unique, readable identities for your wallet. From there, you wanna click on launch app, and you'll be brought to this web page right here, which is app.nf.domains. So when you get to app.nfdomains, you wanna look in the top right hand corner for the connect wallet button. From there, you'll be able to connect to the Para wallet, the MyAlgo wallet, and the AlgoSigner wallet. Today's demonstration, we are going to use the MyAlgo wallet. So you click on MyAlgo and you enter in your password. And from there, you are connected. You can see jtinvestsinu.algo is already here in the top right. If you're like me, you might have many different wallet accounts. So if you go on down to my algo to this drop box right here, you'll be able to switch between all of the different wallet accounts you have. However, we're currently selected on the one that I want to use, so we're going to leave it there. Then you can click out of there and you are logged in to NF domains with your wallet. Now you're free to browse the site and use it as you wish. The home page is a welcome menu that gives you a step-by-step -step process on how to mint your NFT, how to use the marketplace, and how to view the analytics. You can also scroll down and see the recent sales. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see the invite for their Discord group. I highly recommend everybody joining the Discord group, whether it's just to join for a fantastic community or you run into any errors along the way, you'll be able to report those errors to the community and someone will respond very promptly. Also, at the very top of the homepage, you'll find this search bar, which is Find NFD. I'll show you a quick example. We'll look up the next block. As you see, you type in the next block and the next block dot algo comes up. You can click on that right there. And you can see you are brought to the next blocks NFD page. You have the about page right here. There's the gallery right here in which you can view all of the NFTs that are held by this particular wallet address. You can view all the recent sales, any offers that have been made, and the historical data, whether it be the changes to the metadata or transfers or what have you. So now we're gonna go back to the left-hand side and click on Mint. From there, you wanna type in the .algo address that you want to mint. Hopefully it's there. If it's not, try a variation of it. You might have to get creative because some domains are already taken. We're gonna to try to mint. This is a test. Awesome, so for 65 algo, I can purchase this is a test.algo. And now we have to sign this transaction. And now we wait for this transaction to process. And for all of the other wallets that you can sign in with, whether it be the Para wallet or the Algo Signer wallet, the process is mostly the same. With the Para wallet, since it's a mobile wallet on your phone, you'll need to exit the browser that you're viewing NFDs with and head on over to the Para wallet app to sign all the transactions and then move back to the browser. So it's a little bit more friction in my opinion. I do think using the My Algo uh, desktop browser is much simpler because you just get a pop-up, you sign your transaction and you're back to the website. However, the process is exactly the same, except instead of that pop-up, you have to manually go over to the Parawallet app, sign for the transaction, and head on back. Now we can click on Claim NFD. Of course, that's gonna require another signature. And now we wait for that transaction to process. It's a success, fantastic. We have officially claimed this is a test.algo. Now before I show you how to manage this .algo domain address, we're gonna go take a look at the marketplace to teach you how to buy and sell these domain addresses. 
So on the left hand side you'll see marketplace. You can click on that and as you can see this is huge marketplace of domain addresses. You can click right here under marketplace for sale type and sort between recently minted NFTs, recently sold ones. You can select between price ranges low to high, high to low, highest last sale. You can also click on these filters right here. You can click that filter off. You can add some filters on however you want. Let's go price low to high. You can filter by search text. So if you want it to say dog, you can look for all of the ones that have dog in the name. If you wanted to, you know, type in banana, you can see all the .algo domain names with banana in them. If you toggle this for sale sign on, you'll notice all of the ones that are for sale currently with the text that you added. You can also search by category between common, premium, and curated NF domains by length, whether it be one letter or 10 letter plus or anything in between, as well as a price range. So if you're looking to spend, say, 200 algo max, you can hit apply right there, toggle on for sale, and take a look at all of the .algo domain names that are 200 algo or less. Now, if you found one that you like, say you liked this tinycharts.algo, you would click on it. You could click make an offer. If you didn't want to spend the 50 algo, you could make an offer for say 30 algo and they could accept or they could not accept. You could enter in your price right here. You could enter 30 algo. You could leave a little note that says, please accept my offer. Or you could type whatever you want. We're going to have some fun and we're going to actually type in one algo and see if they're really nice. Please accept my, I'm going to also write, this is a test with a smiley face. Maybe they'll watch this video and uh, understand why I lowballed them on that offer. I do not actually want your domain name. If you do sell it to me, I'll give it back to you. This is just a test. So you click on make offer and you'll be prompted to, of course, sign the transaction just as with anything you do on the Algorand blockchain, you've got to sign the transaction. Awesome. As you can see, you can see our offer right here, one algo, jtinvestinu.algo. He's probably going to think this is a pretty rude offer since he paid at least 25 algo for it and he's trying to sell 50. Uh, but this is all for fun. This is just a test. This is educational content. So hopefully this, uh, this human does not get too angry. Now let's check out the next part of NF domains, which are the auctions. So on the left hand side underneath marketplace, you'll find auctions. Give that a click and you'll see some upcoming auctions that start in just under half a day, 11 hours and 58 minutes. And that's at the time of recording. By the time you view this video, these auctions could in fact be live. When auctions aren't live, this is basically a viewing only page, meaning that there's not much you can click on. You can click on this little calendar right here and give yourself a little notification or something like that. Add it to your Google calendar or what have you in case there's an auction that you really, really, really want to participate in and you don't want to miss it. You can add it to your Google calendar, your Outlook calendar or your iCal, which is pretty dope. You can also click right up here to learn how auctions work. That'll bring you to the documentation page and teach you all about auctions. NF Domains has curated a list of desirable words and phrases to auction in a hybrid Dutch auction format. We plan to offer one curated auction event every other week on Saturdays, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The auction format is as follows. Like a traditional Dutch auction, the price will start at the kickoff price, also known as the ceiling price. In every minute, the price will drop until the floor reserve price is reached or it's purchased, whichever happens first. And there's a little graphic that sort of explains what was just read out loud. Now, when you go back to NF domains, click on analytics below auctions, and you can start to view all sorts of fantastic analytics on the web page. These analytics include the current all time total minted NF domains, the unique owners of these NF domains, the volume created on the primary market on NF domains, the volume on the secondary market, as well as how many are currently for sale. Then if you click over from overview to sales history, you can view all the different sales histories. Let's move over to the leaderboard. The leaderboard here, this is where you can see the most expensive domains that were sold and who bought them, which is really, really interesting. So when you head over to the donations tab of the analytics page, you're brought to the leaderboard 
for top donators. And this is really, really cool because you're able to donate to one, two, three, four, currently five different projects through NF Domains, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, Food for Life Global, Gilbert Gowana Tree Fund, St. Jude Children's Hospital, and Victoria's Promise. And you can see the leaderboard for each one of these. The Influencers tab right here shows who has verified their .algo domain addresses on Twitter. So this takes into account the total followers that you have on Twitter using your .algo domain address. And currently the number one leader is Anthony Scaramucci, ranking in with over 1 million followers on Twitter. He's going to be really, really tough to beat. Now on to the goods. I'm going to show you how to manage that NF domain that we just bought. This is an important part of the process. This is where you add the metadata, do your bio, add pictures, and really personalize your NF domain. So you click under analytics on the left hand side where it says manage and you'll see your NF domains. Of course, I have this one right here, jtinvestinu.algo, we could click on. You could click over to the ones for sale, which I don't have anymore because we just went over the fact that I found out I just sold one. You can click on reserved if you have any reserved, but those are grayed out because I do not have any reserved. You can click on sales right here to view your recent sales. We have the nextblock.algo, which I sold to our next block uh, multi-sig wallet for one algo and Algorand Mondays, which we just sold, which we just went over for 150 algo, which is fantastic. And you can also click over to offers to view offers that you have on your NFTs. You can also click over on sent to view offers you've sent to other people, just like that one algo we sent to tinycharts.algo. So now let's click back on over to owned and personalize this is a test.algo. So you're going to want to click on this edit button right here and you can select your deposit address. We are going to click on this one right here, which is the one we logged on to this website with, and then we're gonna click on update. And now this tells you how much it's going to cost for these transactions. It's about 0 0.002 and 0 0.001 algo, so practically nothing. Now you just wanna sign this transaction, click on confirm update, awesome transaction confirmed and now you can see the bottom of this changed a little bit where you see the linked addresses now the one we just chose will be the deposit address and the deposit address as I said you can send things to this is a test.algo and it'll be sent to the address that we just updated you can also click on linked addresses and link all of these other ad addresses as well these linked addresses won't be your deposit address, but linking an address enables reverse lookup so that third-party services can query your NFD metadata using its linked addresses. This is also really cool too because then it aggregates all of your NFTs across your various linked wallet accounts and merges them onto one beautiful gallery. So now that we have linked a deposit address, let's update the metadata for your NF domain. So under addresses over here on the left hand side of the page, you'll see metadata. You can scroll up and of course change your avatar picture right here at the top. Upload file, or you can select an NFT. I'm gonna pick a random picture. Now of course, as with anything, in order to update your pictures, you need to sign a transaction. All right, we've signed the transaction and our avatar has officially changed. Now if you want to change your banner, you're more than welcome to as well. You can select an NFT, select an NFT from one of your linked accounts. Those linked accounts are the accounts that we clicked on link before. I'm gonna click on up, upload a file again and let's see. I'm gonna use this banner right here since I just used it to update my other one as well. So it's ready to go. Let's see, you enter in your password. All right, so now we have our avatar updated and our banner updated. This is a test. NFDs to the moon. Name, test, McTest. Email address, test at test.com. Address, 420 Test Street in Testing, Ohio. Let's see. You can add it, add it as I said, you can add your Twitter account, Discord account, Telegram account, LinkedIn account. Add a redirect, which I'm going to use https colon slash blah 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 youtube.com cjt invests in you and sit tight because I want to show you this. This is actually a really, really, really cool feature of uh, NF domains. Add a link tree 
link to this right here. You know what? I actually want to add this down here where it says website. Take it out right there. You can add unverified addresses. I'm not going to do that. You can add custom fields like a birthday. So birthday add field 03 slash 28 slash 92. Perfect. Now update the metadata, sign the transaction. Awesome. Transaction is successful. Now you can see all of this metadata right here. However, I wanted to show you this little function right here, the algo.xyz. You remember how we entered in youtube.com slash JT invest in you into this part right here? Well, let's open up a brand new tab and type in this is a test dot algo dot XYZ. And now your web browser knows to redirect that algo.xyz address to whatever address you plugged in there. So now I could have, we're just using this as a test.algo, but for my personal one, I could have jtinvestinu.algo.xyz go to my own personal page. It could go to my YouTube page like I just had it here. If you're a company, it can go to your company's page. It's a fantastic function. And I think it's one of the most underrated functions of NF domains. I absolutely love this function. Now let's head back to NF domains. Let's click on manage and now you'll be able to see the updated this is a test.algo with all of the updates that we added to it. The email address test at test.com, your regular address 420 test street testing Ohio, websites including the link tree right here. Look at that. You've got the beautiful link tree right there connected to your non-fungible domain. You've got your algo XYZ right here connected to my YouTube page which is fantastic. You have your linked addresses. You can click over to gallery right here and now see all of the NFTs that are connected to the wallet addresses that are connected to these domains. You can see all of the recent sales. You can see offers and history. Now that you know how to mint an NFT, search and buy new NFTs, I wanna show you how to transfer or sell the NFT that you either just minted or just purchased. So you're gonna to wanna to click on manage, click on the NFT that you want to transfer or sell and then right here underneath the banner, you'll see list for sale or transfer. Now transfers require a minimum one algo for the transfer. So essentially you can't just give it away for free. Somebody has to buy it for one algo. One algo is about 30 cents, so it's a very cheap transfer. You can enter in the algo address or NFD here. I can type in the next block dot algo, click on this right here, and that would be the address that can claim this for one algo. You can also click on give NFD as a gift, which would send 1.108 algo to the recipient to cover the cost to claim, which is a really, really nice idea. So if you want to actually give it away effectively for free, you can toggle this on right here, pay about the 30 or 40 current cents it would cost to do so, and essentially give it away for absolutely free. The person can come in and claim it without needing any algo. A little caveat, they will need as much algo as they need to cover the cost of a transaction, but that's not much. And then you can just click on transfer and it'll be ready to be claimed by the wallet that you have plugged in right here. Now let's go back. Let's click on list for sale. Sale price, we paid about 65 algo for it. Let's put it up for 100 algo. Now the cool thing about this is if somebody comes and purchases this NF domain, I'll cover my cost a little bit because it costs about 65 algo to mint it and then I'll have about 35 algo profit to send over to our Dubai fund. So I'm going to click on 100 algo and we're going to click list for sale. However, you want to be sure that this is something you want to do because there's a metadata warning. Listing an NFD for sale will erase all of its stored metadata including any verified social media accounts. This cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to continue? And I'm going to click on yes, list for sale, sign the transaction. The transaction is successful. This is a test dot algo is successfully listed on the marketplace for 100 algo. A little side note, I forgot to mention that non fungible domains takes a 5% commission on all secondary sales. Now you can go over to the marketplace right here, click on recently minted and you can see right here, this is a test dot algo 
is right here, ready to go for sale. You could come to this marketplace after viewing this video and for whatever reason purchase, this is a test.algo from me and then it would be yours and it would be yours indefinitely. That is the cool thing about non-fungible domains. It's not a subscription service. These domains are yours forever until you decide to sell them. Now you can click over to manage again and now you'll see you have one in the for sale side. You can click on it and you can manage this. You can add, you can change the sale price, you can reserve it for somebody, and then you'll update the listing. You can share it to Twitter. We'll share it to Twitter right now. They have it preloaded with some text. It says, check it out. This is a test.algo is for sale. It links to it, it hashtags NFD, and it tags them. I'm going to add 100 algo to the prompt so that way people know before they click on it what the sale price is and now people know that you just put up an nfd for sale on the marketplace now let's head back to the marketplace now i've shown you just about everything there is to do on the website we've gone through the home page we've shown you how to mint nf domains we've shown you how to use the marketplace to buy nf domains and how to search through different nf domains We've taught you about the auctions, we've shown you how to use the analytics, and we've shown you how to manage and update the metadata within your NF domains. Now, all that's left is to view the resources on the left-hand side. And I'm not gonna go over this personally too much. This is for you if you wanna do a deep dive on all the documentation. I'm just here to show you where it is. So right here on the left-hand side, you've got documentation right here. This brings you to everything you'll ever need to know. New to Algorand, here's some information for that, how to connect a wallet, mint the NFD, basically a lot of the stuff we just went to, lock or unlock your NFD, managing your NFT do, uh, domains, uh, overviews, fact pricing, auctions, and so forth. You can also click on video tutorials. Now, of course, this is a video tutorial, but if for some reason this tutorial isn't sufficient enough, you can click on video tutorials and you'll be brought to NF Domains YouTube page and I'm not subscribed, let's click on subscribe. And you can find the four videos that they have out there on how to set and verify metadata, how to buy, sell, and manage NFDs, how to set a deposit address, how to connect and mint an NFD. If you go back, you'll see the API docs in, in case you want to integrate this into your application right here, or use the API for NF domains for any other various reasons. All the information will be right here, the quick start, the references, and so forth. You'll also see links to the community. There's another link right here to the Discord, which is a link right on the homepage that we, met, that we mentioned at the beginning of the video, and a link to their Twitter. I totally advise going to their Discord group, joining the Discord group, and getting involved there, as well as going to their Twitter and following them on Twitter, because there's a lot of big things coming, including segments, which I don't even fully understand yet, but supposedly it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to be able to have vault.jtinvestinu.algo defi.jtinvestinu.algo, you know, all sorts of different segmented variations of that domain and all the different use cases that could come up from there. So definitely go give them a follow on Twitter. All right, that just about wraps it up. So in this video, from the top, I showed you how to mint an NF domain, how to use the marketplace to buy and sell and look up other NF domains. I showed you how to manage the domain that you recently purchased or minted, including updating all the metadata, your avatars, your banners, verifying your social media accounts and so forth. And then we went over how to find all of the different resources so you can learn more in case this video wasn't enough. Now in the description below, I'm also including a link to an article I'm writing about non-fungible domains. Now this is a company overview. This video is more of a how-to and showing you how to use and mint your NF domains. The article is going to be more of an overview on what non-fungible domains are, who the team is, who's behind the team, you know, investors and advisors and so forth, and just a complete rundown top to bottom on what NF domains truly are. So check out the description down below for that article. Give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below for any ways that I could improve these how-to videos in the future, and go check out NF domains on Twitter and on Discord so you don't miss out on any future information. That's all for today, folks. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.